do, 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 do. movie man baby all right stop watch the movie and review no, I'm not going to do that to you folks. Final cut. And I got another Consequence film on the chopping block today. And that's the comedy from Adam Sandler called That's My Boy. Where Adam Sandler plays Donnie, a childhood star 20 years later, who had a... a, a was a single parent, tried to raise his kid, but things didn't go well, and him and his kid parted ways. Well, 20 years later, Donnie is on the outs, and he feels like the need to reconnect with his son because it may help him keep him from being in jail. Well, his son has become this, uh, you know, moved up in society, if you will, is earning lots of money, he's got a really great, well-paying job, a beautiful fiance, and on the eve of the wedding, We've got Donnie showing up on the doorstep to reconnect with his son, and we see the clash of the low-brow Donnie and the high-brow society and how things play out from there. And do Donnie and Todd get together and rekindle and reconnect as father and son? Well, you have to watch the movie. But <clears throat> let me tell you about That's My Boy. Now, That's My Boy wasn't horrible, okay? I did not find it horrible. I didn't find it bust a gut laughing either. In fact, the only scenes that really kind of made me chuckle out loud were the scenes with Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice just out-comedied Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg in every scene he was in. Uh, I just loved him in this film, which is hard, really weird to say, but it's true. He was really great in this movie and a little bit poke fun at himself, all right? He's got a great line in there about uh, Ice Ice Baby uh, that it's just a great quote. Uh, and um, so, you know, those parts were entertaining, and I did kind of like the story. It was a little bit... Uh, a different take on the whole child uh, fame storyline, you, you know, for the reason why Donnie was famous. Uh, now, you gotta, you gotta appreciate Donnie's honest character throughout the whole film, okay? He, but maybe that's what didn't quite get to me, was that there wasn't a whole lot of growth. It, was, it wasn't that Donnie was wrong, it was like the rest of the world was wrong, which kind of works, you know, but for this comedy, you kind of hope to see a little bit of growth in in uh, in Donnie as well. But you don't really see that. And you, they don't see a lot of growth in most of the characters, except maybe Todd, uh, played by Andy Samberg. Now, the only problem with that, uh, Todd was like the weakest character, too. He's like one of the main characters that should be in here. And he was, I thought, the weakest and the one that you really who should be getting behind and want to see possibly, you know, uh, reconnect with his father and they just you couldn't quite get with him but the rest of the people around him are great vanilla ice james Kahn's father mcnally is humorous i liked his crazy father mcnally it was great to see tony orlando back on the screen and even got will forte in here uh, uh, rounding out so adam sandler has a, uh, some great people around him that are very entertaining that help you get through this film through some of the slower spots uh, you know the parts and then there were parts where they, you could just see they were trying to force the comedy rather than just you know letting it happen with which can work but uh, with director sean Anders, I don't know. I, maybe that's where the, you know, disjointness and the clunkiness of this also fell for me. I just didn't find it that humorous. So I gave it two stubs, okay? Uh, one for Vanilla Ice and one for the rest of the group around Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg. Their characters really helped keep things interesting, and it wasn't really till the very end that I thought maybe this is supposed to be poking fun at those type of uh, comedies, the comedies with the moral, the raunchy comedies with the morals at the end. Uh, and, and if that's the case, if that's the whole purpose of it, uh, poking fun at it, uh, then kudos to them on that because they did accomplish that. They did poke fun at it. I, I just still didn't quite laugh as much as I had hoped with this film, and I can see why it was a consequence movie. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.